Some of that feedback can be attributed to the aforementioned adaptive dampers and the stiffening of other primary suspension components, from the mounting points to the anti-roll bars to the springs and bushings. It all adds up to excellent body control that in turn keeps the 235-40 R18 tires firmly on the ground. Enter a corner too hot and the C's eagerness to rotate eventually defers to understeer, but more than one of us found the C's grip, particularly front end grip, to be absolutely spectacular for a front drive car. Factor in its beefier brakes, its standard helical limited slip differential, and its overall resistance to pitch, dive, and lean and the Civic C can really be driven hard yet remains eminently obedient. During the dozen or so laps we took in the cars, we felt the stability control engage only once. How about road manners? Even better, the high limits and satisfying feedback we experienced on the track were fully realizable out on public roads. Even on lumpy two-lane roads, the communicative steering and the high level of grip helped us hustle through corners. Highway miles allowed us to appreciate the generally comfortable ride quality in normal mode, although even in the sport setting, it's far from harsh. Speaking of comfort, the C's sport seats, with their modified frames and more aggressive bolstering, proved surprisingly road trip friendly, nary an ache or a numb spot emerged after 6 hours in the saddle. So there's plenty of excellence to appreciate in the new C. But we'd be lying if we said it was love at first drive. However much Honda sought to make the car more visceral, the new C remains slightly aloof. We will need more time with it to understand why the Civic C didn't light our fire right away, perhaps we're just over eager for the Type R. It is certainly attractively priced, with both coupe and sedan versions available now for $24,775. Aside from choosing the paint color at no cost, the loan option, summer tires, adds $200. Otherwise, both modules come in one specification that includes cloth upholstery, heated front seats, a 450-watt sound system with a 7.0-inch touchscreen interface, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, Hill Start Assist, white ambient interior lighting, a sunroof, and more. Anyone seeking leather upholstery, a factory navigation system, other interior colors, or the safety features in the Honda sensing system offered in other Civics is just plain out of luck. But those looking for hope that Honda is riding its performance ship will find plenty of the carmaker's core competencies manifest in the new C.